Hello, hello everyone! This is Light Shadow, and today we are going to be going over another one of my various machine guides. So this will be episode 2, and it's going to be on the next machine in here called the Small Energy Capacitor. And by the way, we'll have this count for all capacitors, because they all basically do the same thing, except with higher amounts of capacity. So let's get straight into this. Also, if my voice sounds terrible, I am mildly sick, but I still want to get a video out for you. So let's do this. So first of all, we're going to make the recipe for this. I have all the ingredients right here. Let me show you all of them. So we have four copper dust, eight aluminum dust, two redstone alloy, two redstone dust, and sixteen netherrack. So we're going to start by putting the netherrack in into the ore crusher. It's just like that. So let's just right click that fence right there and that gives us our one sulfate. And then we just follow the recipe from here. So let's just put it all in. Alright, we do need to craft some more stuff. Let me just set this up. So redstone alloy goes in the slots. 8 and 2 on the number pad, redstone dust goes on slots 4 and 6, and sulfate goes on slot 5, and then we need to make our derulium, which will first smelt 4 aluminum dust into ingots, then we'll add our 4 copper dust and our other 4 aluminum dust, and we'll smelt those as well. There we go. And we'll put those on slots 7, 9, 3, and 1. And then we'll right-click this enhanced crafting table, and that gives us our small energy capacitor. So we'll be setting up an energy regulator and a solar generator just to make this example work. So we'll put this regulator right here, with that solar generator right there. As you can see, it has two power in the system, but it can't store any more than that, because that's all this solar generator can make. So, as long as it's within 5 blocks of this energy regulator, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can put that capacitor there, and then it'll start slowly stocking up. The amount it can stock up, of course, depends on the capacitor. So a small one can make it so you can hold 128 instead of just the 2 in this case, which is way more useful for powering machines, because you can use that power during the night, like when the solar generator won't be getting power, you'll have that little extra boost to get you through a tiny bit of the night. So yes, as you can see, it's already around 80 power stored and counting. It just keeps going up while it's daytime. So let's see, energy capacitors help you spread out your power system. So if you had another machine, and just like the regulator, it goes 5 out, straight out, or straight up, or straight down, you could put this out here, and then just line it with machines, and it would still be gaining the power that that regulator has set up for you. Which helps because, as you can see over here for the bigger example, I have all these random machines connected to these various capacitors and such, and they're all hooked up to this one regulator that's hooked up to my nuclear reactor. Which, of course, will be in our video itself, but, you know, details. But that just shows you how much they can help, and it's making it so it can store so much power, which is just overall extremely useful. So yeah, that's how the energy capacitor works, and how you make it. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And also, let me know if you like the new series so far. I hope you'll help everybody out with learning all the machines and such. So yeah, this is Light Shadow, signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.